This video is on the big skin model. Let's dive right into it. Here we've got the epidermis. Then we have the dermis and the hypodermis down here. Now the hypodermis has this yellow stuff, which is adipose tissue, but this other yellow stuff coming off or this yellow line would be representing a nerve. This white thing is a sweat gland. And this other green thing is also a sweat gland. We can see a receptor called a Pacinian corpuscle down here. It's got a nerve attached to it, but this green onion shaped thing is the Pacinian corpuscle. Blue would be the vein, red would be the artery, and a nerve is also coming off this hair follicle. The hair follicle encloses or encapsulates the actual hair. This is the actual hair up here. Covering that would be a sebaceous gland and a smooth muscle, specifically called the erector pili. Over here, we can see the same structures, but opened up. We can see the sebaceous gland. We can see the actual hair within the hair follicle, which has multiple layers. Here's the erector pili muscle on the side. Now this model also includes what are called Ruffinian corpuscles. Ruffinian corpuscles and Meiser's corpuscles. Typically seen closer to the epidermis, but still within the dermis are these Meiser's corpuscles. Notice how they push up into these bumps. These bumps are called the dermal papillae dermal papilla and anything blue is a vein and anything red is an artery but if we come over here we see two yellow lines that extend up into the epidermis notice though that this yellow line is straight when it ends this is a free nerve ending versus this one over here see how it kind of bubbles at the end this is what's called a Merkel's disc Merkel's disc. Now, what are the layers of the epidermis? Well, in thick skin, which has five layers, we have the stratum corneum. On this model, it does a really good job of showing one, two, three different layers that make up the stratum corneum. And then this layer would be the stratum lucidum. This next one here would be the stratum granulosum. This next one, which is very thick compared to the other ones, stratum spinosum, and then the really thin one that lines the dermis, it's called the stratum basale. Once we get into the dermis, we know that there's a papillary layer and a reticular layer of the dermis. Two last notes to make. Something called an epidermal ridge would be the stratum basale and a little bit of stratum spinosum protruding down into the dermis or the dermal papillae. So they interlock with the epidermal ridge from the epidermis and the dermal papillae from the dermis. Now there's something anatomically wrong about this model though. As we can see, there's five layers, thick skin, but there's hair. Thick skin does not have hair. So this model is technically anatomically incorrect, but I think the manufacturers knew that and didn't want to make two models. They just wanted one for thin and thick skin. So they put it all together. But you know, as a really good anatomy student, that there is a difference.